So I would like to humbly say thank you on behalf of myself and the Commission. I thank you, Asante Sane, Shukran. This was meant to be the outgoing AU Chairperson Lamini Zuma's last address to the African Union Heads of State and Government yesterday. But she appeared again this evening, this time to communicate results of a standoff from an election that was meant to deliver her successor. The Heads of State has asked us to remain and do our work until the next election in January. So we will do just that. Sources who attended the closed session told NTV that Senegal, a member of the Economic Community of West African States, or ECOWAS, rejected the voting process on grounds that they were introducing a new candidate in the race, which many argued was irregular. ECOWAS is made of 15 countries, including Ivory Coast, Mali, Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Senegal, among others. According to the rules governing the voting process, the winner was to obtain two-thirds majority. However, reports indicate that for the first two rounds, Botona's Dr. Vincino Montoy took the lead, followed by Equatorial Guinea's Agapito Mokoi. Dr. Speciosa Wandera Kazube came third. It was in the third round that Senegal abstained on grounds that they had lost confidence in the process. In the past weeks, ECOWAS wrote a letter requesting for the postponement of the election, citing limited qualifications of the three approved candidates. I'm telling you that there's going to be elections. What is ECOWAS' concerns? Um, I'm not sure that ECOWAS determines what elections hold, what elections will hold or not in, in the African Union. Reports further indicate that ECOWAS's abstention and its influence on other countries denied any of the three candidates the required two-thirds majority. No candidate got two-thirds during the AU Commission elections. There were a lot of abstentions, so we will get more candidates to add to the three. Now, Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa, who attended the meeting, says the rules have been revised and agreed to open up the process again. Of the 54 countries on the continent, 53 were present to vote. Morocco quit the AU and therefore cannot vote on any matter. Shiran Rochere, NTV, Kigali, Rwanda.